So, Don, you love censorship, is what you're saying? No, I don't love censorship. Then why, why are you asking? I believe in moderation, but I, I don't believe in censorship. Is a, it's a, moderation is a propaganda word for censorship. We have already. Okay, this video is going to talk about how David Pakman, that dumbass, has the self awareness and short term memory of a goldfish. The interview. Well, that's not was what the study shows. And you said you like transparency. I'm going to show you this. And, and Don, you, you can get a study that will tell you whatever you want. But this, this, this is these are just a handful of extremely. You look at those anti-Semitic and racist tropes and tweets. And, and if you're listening, uh, Don is showing Elon some anti-Semitic uh, memes and they have them up on the screen as well. As of this morning, they're still on X. And from your own content policy, these posts should have been deleted. So why haven't they been deleted? Why are they still there? Did you? Uh, we delete things if they are illegal. But these have been up there for a while. Are they illegal? Uh, no, they're not illegal, but they're hateful and they can, they can lead to violence. As I just read to you, the shooters, you know, in all of these mass shootings, attributed social media to Radicalizing. So, so Don, you love censorship, is what you're saying? No, I don't love censorship. Then why, why are you asking? I believe in moderation, but I, I don't believe in censorship. Is a, it's a, moderation is a propaganda word for censorship. <laughs> but don't you think free speech is one thing, right? Or not, you know? Look, if something's illegal, we're going to take it down. If it's not illegal, then we're putting our thumb on the scale and we're being censors. You're putting your thumb on the scale for moderating hate speech. I mean, you don't put out child pornography, that's not, it's illegal. That some people would say that's considered censorship. I'm just saying you. So listen, there are lots of people who think, wow, what intellectual fortitude from Elon Musk just dominating Don Lemon and showing him that he is a hypocrite wannabe censor stifler of free speech. The problem with this, if it's not illegal, we leave it up stuff and content moderation is suppression of free speech. The problem with that argument is that Twitter takes down a ton of content that's not illegal. Bots aren't illegal. Spam isn't illegal. Uh, harassment isn't illegal. That is like such a weak argument. Spam bots. Obviously, yeah, they're not illegal, but Twitter's not about robots. It's about fostering genuine communication between humans. And it's about free speech, which is great. So that is just not even comparable. David Pakman is such a dumbass. But it violates the terms of service of Twitter and Twitter often will take it down, but it's not illegal. So I think there's a second layer to this. You can take the position of free speech absolutism. You can absolutely take that position. And there are platforms which, at least when they launch, claim that that's what they would do. We are free speech platforms. If it's not illegal, we leave it up. It could be disgusting. I could disagree with it. But if it doesn't break the law, then it will stay up. You can take that position. The problem is that officially speaking, X doesn't take that position. They have terms of service that don't say. If it's not illegal, we leave it up. They take down all sorts of stuff. Part of the problem, of course, is the selective enforcement and the selective enforcement that leaves up these unhinged anti-Semitic things. So Republicans have been talking about selective censorship and selective takedown of content on social media like Twitter, Facebook, YouTube for for almost a decade. And now when someone on the right wing like Elon Musk who's actually smart, owns a platform and believes in free speech. Now they want to whine about selective censorship. No, it doesn't work like that. It doesn't work like that. But I got to agree with them, sort of. Yeah, selective censorship sucks. You don't know what you can post on YouTube without it getting taken down. The, the terms of service are very unclear and they're meant to be that way. They're very vague. Bullying. What is bullying? What is harassment? Like, it is just so undefinable. I don't know about you guys, but I honestly hated David Pakman since I first saw him. Like, it was hate at first sight. His little duck face and his mannerisms and his values. Ugh, just gave me the chills. Fucking hate that guy. You know, my, my final takeaway on this 
is it would be a stronger argument to take the if it's not a, because what is illegal at the end of the day? Not that much content is illegal. I mean, every, everybody always goes to child porn. Doxing is doxing even illegal. I don't even know that doxing is illegal necessarily. A lot of this has to do with jurisdiction and, and fun fact. Doxing is not illegal. I looked that up a long time ago. It's a matter of public record, phone book, stuff like that. OK, you go to the town hall, check out the deeds, check out the properties, find out who who lives there. It's totally available to the public. Different things. Maybe it is. Maybe it isn't. I'm not a legal expert. But the point is they take down content that's not illegal all the time. And so we have here an explanation from Elon Musk that doesn't even match what the platform is doing. So my takeaway at the end of the day on the interview is for all of the criticisms of Don Lemon that came in. Don could have done a fawning cheerleading interview of Musk in order to keep the gig, keep the lucrative cash. Maybe it included a cyber truck. Maybe it didn't. Don was was, was coy when I asked him about it on Monday. And Don Lemon didn't do that. He did a real interview by 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 standards. He's lost money in distribution for it. OK, on some of these things, Elon Musk sort of had a retort on a lot of them. He didn't. And the problem is that a lot of people watching this interview think that some of these answers from Elon Musk are really ironclad, super strong. Is it illegal? If it's not illegal, you're just advocating for censorship. Well, not really. Your terms of service by that definition are censorship and you're applying them only selectively. And you certainly don't have a policy of if it's not illegal, we leave it up. So you have to sometimes be able to think one uh, layer beyond what's being said to analyze whether these are explanations that make sense. This explanation from Elon Musk made no sense. And on the facts, Don is right. It has become a cesspool of this sort of stuff. You know, I, I barely tweet anymore. The every once in a while I'll post something and I go back and I look at the replies and they are overwhelmingly just anti-Semitic replies to me as an individual trolling nonsense that it's become an, a borderline worthless platform. And at one point it was quite a worthwhile platform for us as a show. It's sad to see it. I'm sick of people complaining about, oh, I'm getting anti-Semitic hate, hate speech and oh, I'm getting death threats, suicide, death threats online. It's like, that's the fucking internet. Get over it. Who cares? Who cares what some random stranger thinks about you on Twitter? And I didn't even know this guy was uh, Jewish. I know if I was Jewish, I wouldn't give a fuck if someone said anti-Semitic remarks to me. I don't give a fuck that people shit on me for these tattoos or I say that I look like a hobo with the beard or yeah, I don't care. I don't give a shit. It doesn't matter to me. Like that's life. There's when there's when you got when you got a no face to face interaction when it's anonymous, people are going to act like trolls. I actually find it very interesting. It's a cool psychological effect. It's kind of funny when, when you have a mask on, people ask, act uh, very differently. They're not really, they don't really give a fuck about social norms. They participate in a lot of anti social behavior. And that's fucking, that's life, dude. Doesn't matter. Get off the fucking in internet if you can't handle it.